Dear President Ramaphosa, it's bloody time. We need to invest in young women's futures and opportunities. We need to invest in menstrual health. Right now in South Africa, we have young women missing out on school, which happens every month. And that is a lot of school time that they're missing out on. I have personally never been affected by the inability to take care of myself during my own period, but I can only imagine what young women in the townships and the rural areas are going through, not being able to get sanitary towels to take care of themselves, not being able to go outside, and especially at a young age, not being able to play with one's friends, nor go to school. This is why I and thousands of others took action. Last year, Global Citizens took 136,000 actions calling on the South African government to end the tax on menstrual health products like pads and tampons, invest 1.7 billion rand to ensure all girls in grades 4 through 12 in public schools get access to free sanitary pads for two years, and lastly, girls and boys receive quality menstrual health education in school. The good news is the South African government heard our calls. Last October, South African Finance Minister Mboweni eliminated taxes on menstrual health products and has promised to ensure that girls will have access to sanitary pads in school. In November, Minister of Energy Jeff Khadebe promised to personally discuss with you why countless South African global citizens were taking action on this issue. In December, President Ramaphosa you committed to 2 billion rand and spoke about the importance of menstrual health. Now we as South Africa will top it up and we will make it a wholesome 100 billion. We have also heard the cry and the call of the girl child who is deprived of education because she cannot afford sanitary products. As a government, we are responding to that call. But the South African government has not made clear to global citizens whether the 2 billion rand will be used for free sanitary pads and menstrual health education for girls and children in need. That's why we urgently need to use our collective voice and make sure the South African government steps up. President Ramaphosa, it's bloody time. We need to invest in menstrual health. Sincerely, Balesa.